On today's video, I want to talk about one of the most powerful tools in a filmmaker's arsenal, the shot list. Hey guys, Ryan with Camp Films. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to talk about creating a detailed shot list for your next film project. I am absolutely lost on set if I don't have a detailed shot list with me. And it helps me keep organized and make sure I don't miss any shots uh, during the day of the shoot. Now, if you're not familiar, a shot list is a detailed document that outlines all of the planned shots for an entire film or a specific scene. It serves as a roadmap for the director, the cinematographer, and the rest of the crew. It ensures that every shot, movement, and composition is planned ahead of time and that everything is aligned with the original vision for the film. So today we're gonna to take an excerpt from an early version of my feature film script idea. And we're gonna look at it line by line and figure out how we can turn that finished script idea into a shot list. I'll be using a new shot list template that I created. And later on in the video, I'll show you how you can get your hands on this template for yourself. So let's head over to the computer and get started. All right guys, so you see here I have my shot list pulled up. This is my Camp Film shot list template, which is a part of the Filmmaker's Field Guide. It's actually a, a new addition to the Filmmaker's Field Guide. And anyone who's already purchased it can get this as a free upgrade, which I'll be sending out shortly. Here, just looking at the shot list at the top, you see that's just the title there. We have the section for project title, director information, location information, and the date of this shoot. At the top here, you'll see we have uh, sections scene number, reference, which is where you put any reference art or um, storyboard information, uh, shot, shot type, movement, gear, location, uh, whether it's exterior or interior, uh, sound, if the scene is going to have any sound, shot description, which is a brief description of what's going to be taking place in each shot, the cast information, who's going to be acting in the scene, a setup time, shoot time, and the total time that you want to spend shooting this scene. So today we're going to be taking one scene from my feature film idea, White Owl, which is a working title. I've been working on the script. It's not finished yet, but I'm going to take what I already have of this rough script and just walk through it with you step by step. And I'll put the script up here on the screen and we'll just talk through how I take parts from this script and turn it into shots here in the shot list. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. This is whatever you have in your head that you want to plan out and how you want to turn this script into actual shots that you're going to capture for your film. All right, so let's start with scene two, uh, interior therapist office waiting room day. And that's the heading here. So we already know this first shot is going to be interior. And you'll see that this um, template has drop down boxes. So you can either type in the information yourself, you want to customize it, or you can click the drop in box. It's interior day. So we're going to switch that to that. Um, the scene is going to capture sound. I want to capture live sound on the set. Uh, the location is the therapist's office. The movement is going to be stationary in this shot. The shot type you can see in the drop down box, we have all of the different shot types here. Um, extreme long shot, long shot, full shot, medium long shot, medium shot, um, medium close up, close up, extreme close up, over the shoulder, two shot, and point of view. And for the movement here, we have stationary shot, zoom, pan, tilt, dolly shot, tracking, pedestal, rack focus, and crane. Okay, and this is actually scene two, and this is gonna be shot one. So first we fill out the scene two, shot one. Let's put white owl. And reading the script again, we say the camera pulls back to reveal Peter, late 20s, sitting in the therapist's waiting room. I know I wanna have a slow dissolve of the child's eyes from the previous scene kind of blending into Peter's current day eyes to symbolize that this is the same character just at a different time in his life. So the first shot is going to be a stationary and then we're going to put close up. Now let's do extreme close up here. Shot of Peter's eyes. 
and we don't have an actor yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Setup time, you know, depending on what time you want everyone to get to the set and when you think you're going to be shooting this. And then let's just say that we're going to spend, eh, let's just say we're going to spend 30 minutes or 15 minutes on this shot. If you want to add any artwork or uh, storyboard images, you select this column here, insert pictures, place and sell, and then we have a little reference image to kind of give us an idea of what we're going to be going for in the shot. All right, moving on to the next shot. We're still in scene two. This is shot two. We read a little bit further into the script here. The camera pulls back to reveal Peter, late 20s, sitting in the therapist's waiting room. The oppressive analog horror atmosphere is gone, replaced by a more subdued but still tense reality. Peter's eyes, the same as the child's, are downcast as he fiddles with a small fidget toy, his movements quick and nervous. The room is quiet, save for the occasional rustle of a magazine or the soft tick of a clock. The camera lingers on Peter's face, capturing the deep-set anxiety etched into his features. His foot taps restlessly on the floor, the sound barely audible but rhythmic, adding to the tension. So after reading this entire little piece of the script here, I'm already formulating in my head the different kinds of shots I think I'm going to get or need to get to capture this entire um, scene. So I think in my mind I want to get a full shot, um, kind of like an establishing shot of the room and how Peter is sitting in the room. So we'll go ahead and put that one next. I have a reference image of what I'm thinking about for this shot. Three chairs, a plant, maybe a clock on the wall. Peter directly in the center of the frame. Now this shot type is going to be a full shot. Camera is going to be stationary again. This is still taking place in the therapist's office. Why didn't you guys tell me I spelled therapist wrong? Still interior day. We are going to be capturing live sound, as I said. Full shot. Establishing shot of Peter sitting. Center frame. Tapping his foot. Playing with fidget toy, looking anxious. Let's say we'll spend probably about 30 minutes shooting this scene. All right, and now I know I want to get like some inserts of Peter's hands and feet just to kind of nail home the idea that he's a really nervous person, an anxious person. So before we, we get those insert shots, I want to get more of a medium shot of Peter's upper body and him maybe glancing around the room at people near him that we're not going to see actually in the shot, but him looking around the room, maybe looking up at the clock, looking anxious. So this is going to be shot number three. It's going to be a medium shot, stationary shot, same gear, therapist's office, still interior day. We're still capturing sound. And this is going to be a medium shot of Peter glancing around the room, looking at clock, looking nervous. Now I also know later on in the script, if I read on, a nurse is going to enter the room. Um, she's going to glance down at Peter and call him to tell him that the therapist is ready to see him. So while I'm getting this shot, now would be a good time to go ahead and go ahead and get that reaction shot from Peter as well, because I know I'm going to need that shot. And this is a pretty much the same, um, you know, framing and composition that I'm going to need to capture that. So we can go ahead and, and, you know, off camera, have someone act out the lines of the nurse coming in the room and go ahead and get Peter's reaction shot to being called and have him stand up. So we'll go ahead and add that in here as well and get that all at once. That's what a shot list is all about, making sure you're not wasting time setting up and 
uh, tearing down equipment when you don't have to, and you can go ahead and get everything you need with one setup. All right, so this next shot, I told you I needed to get some insert shots of Peter as he's sitting in the chair, fidgeting with his fidget toy, maybe tapping his foot. So here we're going to go ahead and get those insert shots. Uh, camera's still going to be stationary. Same gear, therapist's office, still interior day, uh, sound. This is going to be a close-up insert of Peter playing with his fidget fidget toy. Now I have no idea what this fidget toy is going to be yet. It may not even be a toy by the time I'm done with the script. It may be like, you know, his grandfather's watch or uh, a pen or anything. So I'm still kind of working that detail out in my head. But I just know at some point I'm going to get a shot. There's going to be something that he does a lot. Um, maybe something from his childhood um, that he keeps in his pocket all the time. And when he gets nervous, he always pulls it out and plays with it or something like that. That sounds terrible. That sounds really dirty. Sorry for that. But um, yeah. So yeah, he's going to have a memento of sorts that he keeps in his pocket at all times. And that's just something we're going to get a shot of here. All right, moving on to the next shot. Still scene two. Shot number five. Um, this is going to be another close-up shot. Stationary, same gear, therapist office, interior day, sound, yes. Close up insert of Peter, Peter's foot tapping on the floor. Now we know in this same scene, we're going to need to get a shot of the nurse as she enters the room and calls Peter to go back to see the therapist. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking this is a, uh, a medium shot. It's going to be stationary as well. I don't do a lot of camera movement in my work, um, especially for scenes like this. I like things that look more like a painting come to life. Um, so that's just my style. You know, a lot of people, you know, like a lot of camera movement, like a shaky uh, handheld shot or whatever, that would work here as well. But for me, I want my shots to be stationary. And if I usually need uh, to get that shaky handheld look, sometimes I'll add that in post. The shot is also interior. We're going to capture, definitely capture sound with this because there's actually going to be a dialogue. Um, medium shot of the nurse or receptionist opening the door and calling Peter back to see the therapist, Dr. Reed. All right, I think that should be enough for today. That sh should give you guys a pretty good idea of how to get started using this shot list and, you know, how to use some of the drop-down boxes and how to read your script and, and you know, formulate in your head every shot and every, all the coverage you're going to need to get when you're looking over your script and filling this thing out. Now, the Filmmaker's Fill Guide does include this Excel sheet or Google spreadsheet Um copy of the shot list and I also have an old school printable shot list in there as well if you prefer or if you're someone who prefers to just print out your shot list and just write it in by hand and have that physical copy on set with you there's different options for you there hopefully now you understand the purpose of a shot list which is to ensure efficiency while on set it also really helps me visualize my film before production starts and it ensures that I'm not going to miss uh, getting any important shots during the day of filming. There's nothing more maddening than breaking down a shot, thinking you got everything, and then realizing that you missed some really important detail or shot. And then you have to go back and try to set everything back up while maintaining consistency and continuity. And it's just absolutely an awful thing to have happen while you're on set. So having that shot list with you and making sure you're following it and then everything is batched and organized in the most efficient way possible is really paramount. 
If you want to get your hands on my new shot list template for yourself, don't forget it is a part of my Filmmaker's Fill Guide 2024. And we're also adding a new casting database template uh, for free as well. So that is a free update for anyone that's already purchased the Filmmaker's Fill Guide. You know, the Fill Guide is something that I started putting together for myself and realized once I had all of this great information and assets that it was something that could really help other filmmakers as well. And that's why I'm making it available to you guys. Tons of great assets and resources in there for you. So if you haven't already, please be sure to check it out. And of course you get free updates for the life of the product. As always, I hope you guys found this video very beneficial. I am Ryan, this is Camp Films, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. So let's go ahead and go over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I'll go ahead and switch over to the computer. So let's go ahead and switch. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer and I'll start putting together the shot.